Global warming has become one of the major concerns with devastating consequences on the population and in the environment worldwide. Global warming refers to the gradual increase in the Earth's natural temperature due to human activities, in particular greenhouse gases. Among regions most vulnerable to climate change are the outermost regions, which are territories located in the European continent but forming an integral part of the European Union. The outermost regions face specific challenges in context of climate change. Increasingly, warm waters are having a profound impact on marine biodiversity. Once abundant fish spices are now moving to cooler waters, leaving behind an important ecological gap. Moreover, the outermost region are often linked to tourism. Fish migration are making tourism increasingly real, leading to economic problems. Rising sea level and population displacement are also consequences of global warming that affect this region. More frequent flooding of low-lying areas and the loss of habitable land are forcing communities to relocate with an impact on the environment and the society and economics. Faced with these challenges, it is crucial to implement solutions to mitigate the effect of global warming in the autonomous regions. Europe is entirely affected. We may be separated geographically, but it's important to remember that we are united. Why not create a European environmental charter for the outermost region to limit global warming as much as possible? Because all Europeans are concerned by the degradation of marine environment. In this charter, we can add some ideas like why not use marine pumps to bring out cold waters from the depths and use them to cool out the oceans? It communicates more information and solutions to Europeans and residents living on the islands that are part of this union. We can promote and prioritize more awareness campaigns like in school to help our Arabs to become us and an example for the world. To try to stop climate warming, you may start eating less meat and more vegetables. You can reduce pollution and start recycling and use them. Why not increase the investment in renewable in energies, infrastructure such as a solar, solar wind and hydroelectrical power? This would involve building new renewable energy plants and upgrading existing ones. The solution can be applied in the European Union. It's time to take action!